Hi, my name is Nicky Olverton and I am the curator of this exhibition, Fieldwork, Landscapes West of Sydney, which is drawn from the Art Gallery of New South Wales' collection of Australian art. Fieldwork surveys the wonderful tradition of plein air painting west of Sydney during the late 19th century. It also looks at how this tradition endures into the 20th century and how it's impacted by the First World War and the influence of modern art from Europe. One of the highlights in Phil's work is Elioth Gruner's three masterpieces, Morning Light, Spring Frost, and Summer Morning, which were painted at Innes Farm near Emu Plains between 1916 and 1919. Gruner rented a modest two-room cabin on the farm so that he could wake up early in the morning and paint his subject swathed in golden morning light. Spring Frost is arguably the gallery's most treasured painting, and it's easy to see why. Gruner's impression of a chilly farm scene is a beautifully painted image of rural life and plenitude. I particularly enjoy how Gruner has deftly painted the shadows in the foreground which have been cast by the peppercorn trees and the farmhouse. I also enjoy how he's painted the light that silhouettes the cattle and the farmer here in the foreground. One of the most iconic watercolours in the Art Gallery of New South Wales' collection is Julian Ashton's A Solitary Ramble. It is a must-see work in the Fieldwork exhibition. Painted in 1888, the year of the centenary, it depicts Ashton's wife, Eliza, as she strolls past Griffiths Farm in North Richmond. Griffiths Farm is an iconic subject in Australian impressions, depicted by the likes of Charles Condo and Sydney Long. One of the most significant works in the Fieldwork exhibition is Hilda Ricks Nicholas's painting Through the Gum Trees to Ngabi. Ricks Nicholas was a prominent woman artist who was unafraid to tackle the traditionally masculine subject of nationalistic landscape painting. She famously described herself as the man for the job. This painting's high key palette and decorative forms is indebted to the influence of post impressionism, which Hilda Ricks Nicholas would have encountered in Europe. Come see these iconic works in the Fieldwork Exhibition at Maitland Regional Art Gallery this summer.